unfortunately, I have a box of gears, but none of them were the one we needed. We found one that was close, which is the, the smaller one. Mm -hmm. And then not only you need the gear, but you need the, the other one that meshes with it. Yeah, this one, this one. And our resistor that broke, that's the resistor that's in series with the uh, clutch magnet. Uh, so we need to find a new one of that. So we have a car full of nerds. <laughs> <laughs> Carl, Mike and Ken and we're going to, to on expeditions to get parts for our teletypes somewhere in California. So lists yes. and lists of parts. Lists and lists of parts. With part numbers because the guy won't give us anything unless we have the part numbers. Oh really? So oh. yeah, it's, it's Mr. RTTY. What, where? Did he, where were you getting these part numbers from? You have to find the parts catalogs and then be extremely clever in figuring out where the part actually is uh -huh. and how they've drawn it in the diagram. Wonderful. Yeah, and over there is Facebook. That's where I'm living right next to it. Yes. Yeah, it seems appropriate. <laughs> with, the, with the tractors. And yeah, well, you know, as I told you, we, that's, that's where we find the parts, right? It's usually hoarders that should have. But people that this never, is, never throw away is. anything. There's Paul. So where do I... Uh, Just park to the left there. I'll, I'll redo it for the camera. Hi, <laughs> Paul. You just met a second ago, but you have, you have the best t shirt. <laughs> oh, he's got great. Uh, all right, well, we can't wait to see. From Pixar. Uh huh. And they had a, a live Wall E that they had built. Oh, yeah, I, 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 know, I know who built it. It's, it's an R2D2 builder that did it. Oh, well, there you go. Right there. Wow, that's a treasure cave. Yes. Oh, that's so a, that's, that's as far as the eye can see. That's a good one. This is the boneyard. All right. Wow. Having fun, Ken? Well, this, this is an amazing place. It's just crammed full of every possible teletype part you could imagine. <laughs> This is still a type paradise. This is a 19 like ours. Uh, the the punch, yeah, it's it's slightly rusted. Yep, 35. Oh, here's a Reaper. And uh, transmitters. TDs. Look, there's a 14 Reaper manual there. Mm -hmm. Oh, 14 Reaper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mike is working on the Reaper. Hopefully, he's we'll get that Reaper going. Mm -hmm. So, how old would that be? This one? 1932. You know, Bob Erickson worked on the teletype setter. 1932. See? Yeah. Teletype setter. Yeah, I mean, that's a linotype keyboard. Oh, so it. That's a. So it went on the side of the keyboard right here. I don't know exactly how they work, but.
Yeah, but who bunch of little parts? parts all around here the same way. Yeah. And they are, they are all numbered, uh, so we we, we had to get our after our numbers right. If I can open There's one of them. Uh, Every screw yeah. has uh, a they made, uh, number. Wait. Lorenz, the German crypto yeah. company? They made uh, <laughs> the same, same thing as uh, a 15. The time I looked at it. Okay. Oh, this uh, is a very characteristic. Okay. I'll, I'll show it to you. Next time yes. I have some of this is why. Wow, oh, you have so many of them. Who still buys that stuff except crackpots like, like us? us. <laughs> <laughs> Every day. <laughs> Every day, so you still sell quite I'm a few. Probably the only guy in the U.S. that has parts. I, I would think so. It's like an amazing resource. Ruins. Let me get that here. Let's see if I can find this. Oh, there's keys. Yeah, I. Oh, I, 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 I ha, yeah, yeah, I had to pull the wrong key. It's. Uh, ah. I, need, I need a. A K, and I had to pull an L. I, I looked. I'm just going by memory because they're all hopefully right next to each other. Some of these are old, 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 but like I say, I don't throw them away because someday there won't be any. All organized by part number, that's why the guy wouldn't give you anything unless you have the part number. Oh, cool. This is again, this is a 28, 28 yeah. style. That, uh, I don't know if you've clicked through the, the where I sent you. And I spend copious time polishing my punch block, and here's, here's a new one. <laughs> it's like 20 new ones, <laughs> a whole bunch of them. Bluff. Yeah. All right, so I got I found my uh, paper holder. Excellent. This, this is the holder for the paper. This is the extra K key I was missing. I show it the right way up. There you go. The K key. Here we have the broken resistor for the distributor. And here are some no, the some screw I was missing on on my uh, so I'll, I'll 19 to, to hold the okay, printer in place. I, I cool. Sorry, didn't you want to ask them about the motor stop modification? Oh yeah, true. You wouldn't have that, to have a modification kit to add motor stop to a Model 15, would you? Might. Well, that would be something. Stop. Turn that one off. That one, unfortunately, doesn't have that feature, so it continues to work. It'll be in this. Okay. Let me look through it. Go there. All right. Well, I get this other junk ready. Okay. I found the assembly I was looking for. Motor control latch part. Set of parts for mechanical control. Oh, and you can either do an uppercase M or an uppercase H. You can do anything you want. Yeah. <laughs> I have in the trenches this stuff. Okay. No, I haven't looked up other stuff. See, I don't know where that number came from, but that movie on the Enigma and whatever came out. Uh, but oh, it, it, I'll give a talk. At it's the listed. Museum. Oh yes, hey. tons of it. The embarrassment of riches. Some of this stuff's brand new. Some of it. Oh yeah. Some it's of it's huge. You can tell it's huge. Yeah, it looks like a brand new one. Yeah, brand new one. We found. Lever, we found the grabbing assembly. Uh, well, you know, that might be, and then there is, there is a little bit more that goes in front. Now we need to. Uh, I'm not sure we have everything yet. A little spring you still need.
Unbelievable how many parts go in that assembly. Oh. This is all this. Oh. So we're missing one spring. <laughs> and then it's just the number of parts. This is for the motor stop feature. And you found the special spring? You did? Gee, we found every single part so far. Ken has found a very special part. So, so over here it's telephone booth glass cleaner. A very specialized product. Now, obviously, not if there's no telephone booths, but apparently when is the glass cleaner? Is you a sorry, cleaner. Are you going to buy it? Well, I need to get a telephone booth as well. <laughs> it, it, it leaves an invisible coating that is dirt resistant, easily dissolves smudge, film, scum smears, bugs, and all soil. It's Excellent. like the perfect you, you, thing. You need to have it. Perfect thing for your telephone booth. So, Paul, <laughs> how long have you been doing this? Well, I started in 1963. All right, I wasn't even on the planet yet. <laughs> <laughs> And always from here? Or no, several different places through the years. Uh -huh. And then, and then you, sh you showed me your bi business license. My business license, I've been in business since 66. 1966. And you have a nice picture up there of where you... That's my naval picture of teletype school. Oh, that was 40. So you, you, you studied that in the Army or Navy? Navy. Navy. Where are you on there? Where are you? Uh, you'll never pick me up. Right there. Okay, hold, hold, hold it still. I can zoom in. And that picture was taken in? 1965. Cool. <laughs> awesome. So, and, the, and you still have customers to this day? So people oh, still yeah. use teletypes? A lot of people still mess around with these. Well, sell yeah. parts almost every single day. Really, every day. Every day. Wow, and you're not that advertised on the web, right? Mm -hmm. But people know about you. There's there's a lot of people that would like to order machines, but uh, I don't have the time to work on them. Oh, they they order oh, whole, whole machines. Old machines. Wow. Complete machines. What do they do with it? I don't know. You're the one who uses them. Oh, what do you do? I, I make videos of it. <laughs> <laughs> Restore them know, to preserve them, but we are not using them for any useful purpose yeah. except by showing that they're just totally well, awesome machines. Well, there's, there's most of us just for entertainment. Uh huh. You know, I don't think anyone really uses it. Oh, to show them around isn't for it? for real purpose, except for KPH. You know, they reenact uh, the real. Uh, transmitters and receivers from the 50s and stuff. Right. And they, but for they a show, turned for, it on. For a museum or for... The, they the, turned it on uh, every every weekend, I believe. Okay. Yeah, it's to show them off. Yeah. Cool. Well, we're glad we found you. Uh, we know where to come if we need another part or lose some or break some. Super. Thanks very much, Paul. Okay.